Jackson here. Welcome back to my channel. So today this video is going to be um, a question, like an answer video to a bunch of questions that I've been getting on my Snapchat recently. So um, many of you have been asking about my latest hairstyle and kind of like what hair is it, where did I get it from, so forth and so on. So that is just me answering your questions in this video today. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get started. It's a pretty quick video. I just wanted to kind of let you guys in on what's been going on with my hair. So uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so I am wearing extensions, which you, I don't know if you can or cannot tell, but um, I am wearing extensions. Um, this hair is from a company called slvirginhair.com, which is actually an abbreviation for sexyladyvirginhair.com, um, but their website is slvirginhair.com. So um, I received three bundles and a frontal. So when I originally got the hair, I had an idea in my mind of how I wanted to, uh, of a style that I wanted, but then that quickly changed. I wanted, some, I ended up wanting something that was really natural, something that I could just throw on, to be perfectly honest with you. So um, what I ended up doing was making a U-part wig or a V-part wig. Uh, mine looks more like a V-part wig, but um, making a U-part wig and just having my natural hair out in the front. I have been, you know, I've been wearing like, um, what do you call those, like protective hairstyles for a really long, long time now. Um, I just prefer to wear wigs if you're not if you're not new or if you are new to my channel You may notice that I wear wigs all the time with the exception of wearing like a bun Like that's pretty much my hairstyle. I either, ha I either have a wig on or I'm wearing like a high uh, Top knot bun. Those are just the hairstyles that I like to wear um, I was really trying to give my natural hair a break a few years ago like when I was in cosmetology school um, I would wear this type of hairstyle a lot uh, with, with the middle part my natural hair out in the in the front at the top and quite naturally you know I experienced a lot of heat damage because um, I would straighten my hair a little bit too much so my hair started to break off I was experiencing a lot of like just negative things happening with that so I needed to give it a break which is why I started to wear wigs so that this part of my hair could just get a break y'all because it really needed it so that was years ago and so this is probably the first time in a very long time that I've actually had uh, this type of hairstyle with my hair left out and now that my hair is back to a healthier state than what it once was years past um, you know and now that I know a, a lot more about taking care of my hair in terms of wearing these type of units um, I feel a lot more comfortable wearing them so um, for those of you that are wondering let me just get the specs out of the way of the hair I did cut this hair a lot because it was really long I, I wanted a bob okay look <laughs> like I said I wanted to have a hairstyle that when I first got the hair I wanted a hairstyle probably one of my, my typical hairstyles I wanted to do a closure and some long body you know like long body wave or long whatever but I really wanted a hairstyle that I could just throw on or just do really really quickly when I'm trying to I don't know do a video go out the door really quickly where I don't have to do so much right so I was like let me just make a little bob or something just something really short that I could just you know bump it and get out the door so that's what this was and again this is um, the SL Virgin Hair on a U-part uh, part wig. So um, I've had the hair for a minute now, not too long, probably uh, a few weeks, and I have been wearing it on and off. The hair is really pretty. It's nice and bouncy, as you guys can see. It it it, <laughs> it really does its own thing. I, I like it a lot. Um, I have what is this? three bundles in and again I don't have a closure but I do have three bundles I did not want it too thick so that's why I only have three bundles in which is still quite a bit but it's not um, that thick this hair although it is really pretty and I have three bundles in it wasn't the thickest of bundles so that's why it doesn't look super super thick but I mean I'm cool with that for the hairstyle so 
I keep saying that I'm going to talk about this, but I, I keep forgetting. Okay, so the lengths that I received initially um, was 220, I think it was like 222s and an 18 or something like that. And I'll put all of the information down in the description bar below so you can actually check out the website if you want to see more about this company's hair for yourself. Um, but as you guys can see, I really, I just, I really chopped it, chopped it off. So those lengths are finito. Um, but yeah, this is it. So I think that I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you guys really quickly. Let's see. I'm going to show you like where this closure look well, not closure where this starts and stops so I have quite a bit of my hair out as you guys can see here it's probably about two inches worth of hair out and then I have my piece in uh, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like when I just like don't have anything on <laughs> I'm about to scare you um, but this is it well, let me go ahead and do this side and I can show you really quickly just how it goes on. So again, I opted to do ow, I opted to do this because I wanted something so God. Okay, I wanted something so simple. But my hair is like braided up, as you guys can see underneath the unit, and then my natural hair is out at the top, like so. And I just have like regular cornrows going around. Probably like six six corn rolls or six plaits going around. And then yeah, my natural hair is straightened. I have been getting questions too from you guys on whether or not my hair is relaxed or what what am I doing to my hair. But my hair is natural and so I have not processed my hair in any kind of way. Um so yeah. So um this is the unit here. This is the unit here, and it's just a really simple unit, very, very simple. Um, and I kind of just um, bumped it underneath to give me a little bit of body underneath there. And so I'm going to show you guys how quickly I can go ahead and do this. What I like to do is I'll part my hair down the middle. And my hair is like, I've, I've trained my hair to... I've trained my hair to just like part down the middle without having any issues where it, like one side to go to one side, the other side to go to another. Great, my wig just fell. Um, but I like to just put my hair up in a little twist like that. I'm gonna pick up, I am picking up my wig with my, <laughs> pick up my wig. Okay, so I like to put my hair in a little twist like this and braid my hair all the way around like so. And then on the inside of here, I have two clips. Bada bing, bada boom, one on each side. And so what I do is, I'll just like place the wig where I want, which is a little bit behind. And taking a clip, actually let me show you, like I open it, so this is it closed. And I'll just open it so that it can grasp on and I'll like do a couple of swoops around so that it can attach to my natural hair that's actually left out um, because that allows it to stay in place and I do the same thing on the other side I can't really see what I'm doing guys because I'm looking in the little viewfinder of my camera so I can't really see if this looks janky or not <laughs> so and then I just clamp that down again then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll adjust the wig from the back because usually it's kind of sticking up in the back and it needs to be adjusted. But that's one, that's two. Bam. Okay, and then, you know what, let me go get a little mirror and a comb so I can see what I'm doing right here. But this is pretty much it. This is the wig on. Um, and I made this wig really quickly just by gluing it to a spandex dome cap and yeah because I didn't really have the patience or the time to just like make it um by sewing it on so let me go grab a comb really quick and a mirror so I can see what I'm doing so I can show you how I actually just like part it down the middle and then blend it 
All right, guys, sorry about that. So I went and grabbed a little mirror and a comb to go ahead and do some blending. But before I do that, I wanted to talk to you guys about the one product that I use to kind of, ugh, ugh, to kind of um, do a little, to like give some life or some luster to my natural hair. So if you guys have seen this product before, I talk about it a lot on my channel when I'm like, styling my 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 wigs but this is the henna Sai thermal protect silk smoothing serum i swear by this stuff um i love it it is so good and it really brings my my wigs and my weaves and my natural hair back to life i swear to you it's like a godsend i love this thing so i just put a little bit of that um on my natural hair you can also put it on your extensions if you like but I would just recommend if you put it on your natural hair or extensions to just be sure that you only put a little bit a little bit more than a dime size I think it's a, I think it's really how much hair you're dealing with um, will determine how much of the serum you should apply but I like to just apply maybe like a, a little bit smaller than a nickel size for the entire head okay so what I'm gonna do I'm really just gonna part this down the middle. Hopefully I can do it. That's not the middle. Ugh. I swear it's always so much harder to do stuff on camera than it is like in real life. Okay, so hopefully I got this somewhere down. Bam, okay. So then what I do, I'll just like take my little flat iron or whatever and if I need to, then I will flat iron it. But I don't typically do it too many times because I don't want to experience any heat damage. Especially now with my natural hair. So, uh. so yeah, I'll just do that and I'll comb it over. And, of course, it's not going to look right on camera when you're trying to show somebody how you do it. But, okay. That's okay. That's okay. All right. But basically, that's really all that I do in terms of, like, styling hair when I'm, like, having the U part or the V part wig in. And you can do this. You can add as much hair as you like, but in my opinion, when you're looking for something a little bit more natural. <sighs> looking for something a little bit more natural, I would say to pull out at least, like, two to three inches of your hair out so that you can have enough of the hair out. Can we just talk about the fact that, listen, since I've been wearing my natural hair, which hasn't been that long, been a couple couple days, but I have noticed that I have so many gray hairs. My natural hair, I have a lot of gray hair, like sparse gray hair, which is really, really sad. So let me fix this and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, so that about wraps it up for me. Um, I will be sure to place all of the information down below for SL Virgin Hair if you want to find out more about their hair company. I'll be sure to place it down in the description bar below for you. Um, also, if you guys want to see a more in-depth video um, on how I apply my U-parts or my V-part wigs, then please let me know. This was kind of like an impromptu uh, showing for you guys since I was already talking about the hair. Um, but if you want something a little bit more in detail, like how I braid down the hair and all of that jazz then let me know so that I can put it on my list of things to do for my channel all right guys I love you so much for watching I'll check you out in the next video until then peace out